My name is Hobie Doan. You're watching How Tuesdays on RideBMX.com. Today we're going to do switch threes. Got a couple pointers. Um, for me, obviously you want to be able to do regular threes first, but uh, it's all about the neck. Your shoulders follow and then your hips go, go third. So if you keep your neck turned to the left, your shoulders are going to turn, and your hips are going to follow, and just keep your neck turned all the way until you land straight and then your body will straighten out. Just kind of keep your neck turned, wait, turn, 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 and then when you land your body straightens out. When I'm coming in to do a switch three, I'll carve to the right a little bit before and then really, really do a sharp carve to the left and crack my neck and shoulders as far as I can and just keep my neck turned. Most important part to focus on with switch threes is your neck and shoulders. You have to fully have them turned as, as far as you can until you land to really like get the full rotation and land smooth and exit forward. A lot of times when you try and switch threes, you'll endo, and that's just because you're not keeping your neck turned. Your rotation is just uncomfortable and you just gotta kind of stay stiff through it for the first couple ones, and then it starts to kind of flow. You stay more turned, your neck stays turned, shoulders follow, and then your hips are real tight, which brings your whole bike around so you land forward. I'd like to thank s and and Animal for keeping me rolling. I hope what I had to say can help you guys get the switch threes down. Tune in for more How Tuesdays here at RideBMX.com.